I am Dariush Kaledi, and this is my wife, Shahba. We founded our Napa Valley Winery State, not only to produce world-class wines and extended a vision of hospitality that presents our culture, but also to share the art, poetry, and history that has inspired our journey. In one of our trips to London, Shahpar and I visited Victoria Albert Museum and we discovered what a rich collection of the Persian art from 14th century to 19th century. And uh, we were thinking of, wow, we have our Darius II wine that is collective of the Persian art. It would be what a good idea to be partnered with the Victoria Albert Museum to let us use those beautiful art of ancient Iran to our bottle. And since 2013, we become partnered with Victoria Albert Museum. And we are proud to be one of the sponsors of this great event of Epic Iran 2021. Epic Iran explores 5,000 years of Iranian art, design, and culture, bringing together over 300 objects from ancient, Islamic, and contemporary Iran. It's our great honor and privilege to share with you a behind-the-scenes look into fascinating exhibit with Epic Iran's co-curator, Tim Stanley. Some of our personal favorites are the renowned Cyrus Cylinder and the writing from around 500 BC, proof that wine was enjoyed in ancient times. We hope you enjoyed the exhibit. Salamati. Salamati. Cheers. Welcome to Epic Iran, supported by Dariush. This is the UK's first major exhibition in over 90 years to present an overarching narrative spanning 5,000 years of Iranian art, design and culture. Uniting treasures from the ancient and Islamic worlds, together with the work of contemporary artists and makers, Epic Iran shines a light on a complex and powerful material heritage that deserves to be celebrated in its entirety. Iran was home to one of the greatest historic civilizations, yet its monumental artistic achievements remain unknown to many. This exhibition explores the country's journey into the 21st century through a combination of rarely seen objects from the V&A's collections, important international loans, and works from private collections. From sculpture, ceramics, and textiles, to photography and film, the works on display reflect the country's vibrant historic culture, its architectural splendors, and the abundance of myth, poetry, and tradition that has been central to Iranian identity for millennia. From the Cyrus Cylinder, and intricate illuminated manuscripts of the Shahnameh, to 10 meter long paintings of Isfahan tile work and Shirin Ali Abadi's striking photograph of a young woman blowing bubblegum, the exhibition offers a fresh perspective on a country that is so often seen through a different lens in the news. One of the most important objects in Iranian cultural heritage, the Cyrus Cylinder, is impressed with a text in cuneiform in the Babylonian language. It's personally connected to King of Kings Cyrus the Great, the founder of the Persian Empire, and it records his policy towards the religion of the Babylonians 
the first declaration of human rights in human history. Knowledge of Iran's long and glorious history survived into the Islamic period through the Shahnameh, or Book of Kings, the world's greatest epic poem, with over 50,000 couplets. Completed by the poet Ferdowsi in 1010, it is the first great work of modern Persian literature, written in the Arabic script, but preserving the grammar and vocabulary of earlier forms of the Persian language. The Shahnameh gave and still gives Iranians a vivid sense of their past. Monarchies on the Iranian plateau over the Islamic period influenced the nature of artistic production. We have two very splendid robes of honor from the V&A collection. And one of them is a garment called an abar. This robe was presented to the v &A by Shah Nasir ad-Din in 1876. The practice of giving robes of honor became a great motor for the production of luxury textiles. We are very proud and extremely grateful to have Dariush as a sponsor of this momentous exhibition a brand with Iranian culture and values at its heart. Dariush has sampled Persian art from the museum's collections on the labels of their Darius II wine bottles since 2013. And we are delighted that the Dalmatic vestment sampled on the 2016 vintage is displayed in the exhibition. This wonderful gold and blue textile shows how international trends in luxury goods are not a new thing. It is certainly luxurious being made of silk and precious metal thread and the pattern is very international. It includes elements that could be Italian and others that might be Chinese. And silks of this kind were indeed made over a huge area stretching from Italy through Iran to China. That was during the 1300s. To find out more precisely where such cloth was made, you have to look at its structure, which reflects regional variations in how they were woven. In this case, the technical information tells us that this silk was produced in Iran between 600 and 700 years ago. From there, it made its way to Germany where it was made up into a church vestment. The type called a dalmatic, worn by deacons in the Catholic Church. It's an extraordinary survival in terms of its age and excellent condition. And it's an eloquent witness to Iran's place at the center of world trade in the 14th century. It's therefore appropriate that the pattern of blue silk and gold was used on Dariush's 2016 vintage. Dariush's generous support of Epic Iran marks a new chapter in our long-standing relationship and aids the v in its mission to share the remarkable cultural story of Iran with the world.